Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Barrett's Bikes Videos back at ya. Um, uh, I came out to the garage today uh, to check out things and I'm you know, looking out the Dodge Charger windows. I'm gonna take that window down. Pew, look at that beautiful motorcycle. And look at these other two. Ooh, buddy, you got to run Three bikes. Yeah. Dodge, the lights kind of bright on it. Who we got here? Look at this. What's this? Let's see what I can do. Charger! Charger mats. I love the charger mats. I gotta clean the mats. I'll get them cleaned shortly here. I'll get them shot back right out there. Just outside the car. Yeah. This is a dream come true right here. What a blessing. I have a, I have a real clean plastic and a Dodge Charger. What a combination. Can't wait till it's warm weather season so I can get them both out together. Get a picture with them both together. Man, that's so cool. This car is so cool. Dodge Charger RT. Three, 370 horses. 385 to 390 torque. And it's not overwhelming with all the uh, options. They don't have the reverse camera and all. They don't have navigation. They don't have. There's the there's a roof. There's no sun roof or what you call it, moon roof or whatever you call it. That means I don't. I, I like it like that. I don't want no possible leaks in the future through that. But I don't. I don't know if they have problems with that or not. I'm sure they will eventually. This car is put away here in the, here in the garage for the for the winter. But I just I come out every so often, about once a week, if I'm not hurting. I've been hurting the last man four days. It's just the first day where I'm free from pain for a little bit. So I'm out here hanging out in the car, man. 2012 Dodge Charger RT. That's what I'm setting in because I'm not outside. I guess I could get out and show you. And if you know it, that's a the music in the background is called David and the Giants. Uh, they're a Christian band that's been around since I believe 1977. How uh, they used to run around with sticks and Rolling Stones and all them guys when they were in the world. They had an album out, and I guess they made the radio stations it was starting to become popular and then they were they were always partying doing drugs and stuff and God got a hold of their lives and filled them with the Holy Ghost they were got baptized in Jesus name for their mission of sins and today they up to this day they're still together David and the Giants they're looking for bookings for 2019 for concerts They've been around for a lot of years. 1977 to 2019. What was that, 32 years? What a band. And Brother David Huff's the lead singer. has got several solo stuff out that's absolutely incredible. W, David W. Huff. He's got his own website, davidhuff.com, I believe. You can buy any of their music on that. If you're a Christian music collector, and you like good Christian music that'll bless your heart. David and the Giants is it. You'll love David and the Giants. Okay. Brother David Huff is strongly anointed. His heart and passion for people and his love for people is incredible. They were over to the Philippines this last year and Thousands, they had several thousand people in their concert, and they had, I think they reported what 4,000 people that made a, the first commitment to the Lord, repenting and giving and turning towards the Lord. I guess several got the Holy Ghost. They went door to door to the homes, praying for people. People was getting the Holy Ghost. People was getting healed of different stuff. It was something, man. That's something. That's quite a band. That's quite a group awesome but 
they're, they're real good okay I'm gonna I'm gonna get out here and pump the tires up in the Dodge Ram because the aluminum tires leak and get ready for church for the night can't wait love church New Hope Apostolic Church in Battle Creek Michigan is where the excitement is in this town man alive Jesus is awesome you want to receive a blessing that you cannot contain oh man come to New Hope Apostolic Church all right setting in my Dodge Charger RT it's 2012 I like the 2011s, 12s, 13s, and 14s. They're really good looking. Then you get to the 2015, and they ruin the looks. Now they're sort of nice cars, but they don't look as cool. <laughs> I don't know. One salesman said that the 2015's got better interior. Man, I looked at the interior, and, it, and then I look in the interior of this. Look at that fancy designs and door. Look at that stitching. I love this aluminum chrome trimming around the dash. The steering wheel looks really sweet. I, I don't know anything that looks any better than this. It's got this diamond plate stuff on it. On the lightest shifter. The shifter's cool looking. Yeah, I like it. Yeah, I like it. You better believe I like it. I like everything there is about this car, man. It's perfect. Love this. And the steering wheel aluminum around it. So cool. And then and the Dodge emblem. It's got kind of blue coloring in the in the when you hit it with light. It's neat. It's really cool. Look at the trimming shine. Isn't that pretty? Alright, that's enough of me talking. Oh, this one no back up. This is a good song here. Lively Stones. If I'm not mistaken, if I remember right, Lively Stones was written by the little Ricky from I Love Lucy show, who is the drummer of David and the Giants. His name is Keith Thibodeau. Brother Keith, an awesome drummer. He's the first one to get the Holy Ghost at the band. He came to, he got the Holy Ghost. He came down there to, in 1974 and told David and the Giants about it. So, and uh, it said he got to change the name, change the words of their songs to Jesus. And David Huffman's like, what? We playing with sticks and rolling stones? We get up there and play songs of Jesus. They're going to kick us off stage. But... So little Ricky said I gotta have to quit the band. So he quit the band for a couple of years. And then uh, I'm sure he was been praying for these uh, three buddies of David Huff, Rayborn Huff, and Claiborne Huff. And it was Rayborn and Claiborne who picked up the Bible and started reading it. And all of a sudden they got found out that you didn't you, you know something interesting. Okay. You know what's interesting. I'm here I'm talking. I'll do it quickly. Uh uh, Claiborne and Rayborn Huff know nothing about religion. They pick up the Bible and stri straight read it. You know, with nobody telling them. And they read across the Bible and it's simple. And it tells the person you, uh, to be what you got to do to be saved. Repent, be baptized in Jesus' name and filled with the Holy Ghost. They read in the Bible that you got to be baptized in Jesus' name without anybody telling them. They had no ministers or nothing telling them. They found it on their own. And, uh, so they started looking for a church that would baptize in Jesus' name. They found out that most churches don't baptize according to the Bible. And then finally they found it. And uh, I, was, I think it was an all-black church. And these guys were long-haired hippies. They went in there and, man, they, they, they baptized them, long hair and all. In Jesus' name, they get the Holy Ghost delivered from drugs and alcohol. And, and uh, as a matter of fact, the pastor of that church prophesied, I guess... Uh, I'm, not, I'm not sure how long before they even came there that there's four guys coming to this church that's going to start a band 
a, a gospel band that's going to travel the world and win many souls. He never figured that it would be a, a contemporary Christian band. And it was David and the Giants that came to his church. They were all baptized in Jesus' name, filled with the Holy Ghost. Uh, started. Uh, they were going to give up the music, but the pastor says, No, play for you to go to your God. Play, pick up your music do for Jesus. And now, David and the Giants is the most anointed Christian band out there. They go everywhere spreading this gospel of Jesus Christ. And won many souls. People getting the Holy Ghost. Man, they made an impact in my life. I seen them in 1986. And uh, David Huff, man, they come right off the stage and they pray for kids to get the Holy Ghost. They pray with you. A band. The bands don't do stuff like that. These guys love people. And they, they pray, David Huff prayed for me that I might receive the Holy Ghost. I was 18. Uh, October. It was October of 1987. 86. I think it was 86. Yeah, 86. I seen him. And then February 11th, 1987, I received the Holy Ghost speaking of tongues in my youth pastor's car. Pastor, uh, youth pastor Tim, Timothy Gowans. Man, that, you talk about excitement. Then I seen, I seen David and the Giants, and I, I think it was June of, of, of 1987, in Kalamazoo, and David Huff remembered me from Warsaw, Indiana. Where I seen him in October '86, and I told him I received the Holy Ghost. He was so tickled. Then you could tell what people was were when they're tickled about what you got. Or somebody's faking it. He was not faking it. You could tell. It really touched his heart that I got the Holy Ghost. Till this day, Brother David Huff is what a, a really great friend and a great brother to me. I got to see him in Mason, Michigan at 215, hanging out with him for about two hours. Talking with him. Man, that was a blessing. Oh, man. He blessed my life. Talking to him. Well, that's enough of that. Talking about David and the Giants. Sitting in my Dodge Charger. Uh, if I stop it before the 15 minute mark here, uh, I can put it up on my YouTube without letting it split it up. But, uh, thank you for all listening to me and my testimony and the testimony of David and the Giants and the testimony of my life. And God filled me with the Holy Ghost. I was baptized in Jesus' name when I was 14 for the remission of sins. I remember coming out of that water, it felt like a thousand pound weight come off your shoulders. Feel like you walk on clouds. That's a beautiful feeling. Pure, clean feeling. And uh, I know others that's been baptized in Jesus' name never experienced that because they didn't believe in the name. They rejected it. Oh, man, that's not good. But, all right. Uh, I'm out of here. I'm going to get off here and get those tires popped up in my truck. Truck, Get ready for church. Uh, thanks for listening. And uh, if you like me talking, uh, you can subscribe. I bring all kinds of stuff. I like to bring bikes and cars and all kinds of stuff on there videos reviews of bikes i get up there bike ricardo davidson view uh, film some bikes i need to do it more often see if they'll let me do it uh awesome harley davidson's and others use stuff to get and i want to do some car shows i will do a lot of car shows this year at taco bell beckley road all right i'm getting off here it's 4 13 45 46 47 on the uh, recording. I'm going to get it off here before it gets to 15. Uh, Alright, thanks for listening. This is Bears Bikes Videos. God bless you. Uh, subscribe. Peace out. Alright, bye.